this is Veronica Wells from MadNoir.com, and we're here at the Aloft Hotel in Harlem with Miss Shirley Strawberry, former radio host, radio host turned author. Still a radio host. <laughs> well, yeah, both, 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 both. <laughs> okay, so Miss Shirley, how have you been? Oh, thank you. Nobody's asked me that yet. <laughs> I, I, I've been great, actually. Thank you, Veronica, for asking me that. How have you been? I've been well. Good. I've been it's, well. It's good. a little rainy outside, but yeah. it's good. It's very nice to meet you, though. It's nice to I meet you, I love your too. whole ensemble. Thank you. Thank <laughs> You're you. You're welcome. You. All right, so tell us what you've been up to. Well, let's see. Today I work. Well, okay, let's start from, um, let's start from yesterday. Okay. I worked. I did a, a lot of radio interviews, online interviews, things like that. And then um, I went to Steve Harvey's gala. He has a mentoring program, his foundation. And so he had a big gala last night. Right. So I got to dress up and all of that. Um, got to bed about 1 a.m. <laughs> Woke up about 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. and went to work and then left there and went to the uh, Today Show with Kathy Lee and Hoda. And how was that? How was the Today it was, Show? It was really good. It's exhilarating. It was way shorter than I thought mm -hmm. it was going to be. Um, but it was fun. They're such fun ladies. Right. Their show reminds me of our radio show mm -hmm. because they're crazy. They <laughs> I are. Love, they're a lot they of are. fun. Mm -hmm. They're a lot of fun. And our show is too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Well, we're here today to talk about the Strawberry Letter. Let's open see it. Oh, yes, it's out today. <laughs> it's in bookstores right now. It is. Oh my it's, goodness. <laughs> I read the book, so it's, it's great. It's really oh. great. I read it um, in a day, so it's, it's Really? Excellent. Thank it's you. Excellent. It's a quick read. It I, is. I've been hearing it's it a quick is. read. It's a page turner. So, oh, good. Um, we definitely encourage people to go out and get the book. But we want to ask you um, a couple of questions. Okay. So we're, you're all about giving advice, relationship advice. How do you give advice to people? Because some of the stories are a little out there, a little oh, crazy. A little out there. <laughs> okay. So how do you give advice to people if you've never experienced anything like they're talking about? Well, you don't have to experience something to uh, know that it's not good for you. Right. You don't, you know, I, I mean, I don't have to jump on the... Uh, subway train and get hit to know that I don't want to do that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So um, you just use your common sense. There is a thing called common sense that we are maybe not born with, but we're taught through some of our life experiences or our mom may have taught us or our grandmother. So that's what I base it on. If things are stupid, they're just stupid. <laughs> you just call them like they are, right, you right. know? If they make sense, they make sense, but everything just doesn't make sense. Right, so exactly. that's how I do it, I guess. Now, have you always been the advice giver? Because we know that you do this professionally, but have you always been that friend that people go to? Well, um, lately, and like the last, um, I don't know, yeah, for a while, mm -hmm. now my friends come to me for advice for sure. Right. Relationship advice, I'm not even in a relationship, <laughs> but I've been in enough bad relationships to know what not to do. Right. So yeah, we, we de they definitely come to me for mm -hmm. advice. Yeah. So in the advice that you give, you say that you give everything out of love. So how do you um, maintain that balance between being firm and letting uh -huh. them know what they're doing is, is not right, but also <laughs> being nice and coming from a place of love when you do well, there is a thing called tough love. I mean, I'm a parent, so I have to use that all the time. You have to say no sometimes. You have to tell it like it is sometimes so they can get the message and the lesson. You have to do that. Uh, if you don't, to me, that's not love. If you don't tell them the truth and, and tell them what you really think. So I just try and do it with love. I, I think a lot of times it's not so much, and I'm sure you've heard this before, uh, what you do, but how you do what you do. So, so I, I concentrate on the how a lot. You know, okay. I try to temper it with love. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> just some love. Just put some love in it. Exactly. Uh huh. Exactly. So you talked to, uh, in your book. You talk a lot about about the relationships that you've been in, and you've been oh. very, <laughs> very candid in your relationship, including the, um, the abusive relationship yes. that you were in yes. for eight years. Yeah. So. Um, what influenced your decision to be so open and honest with your readers and your audience? Well, I think if you're really going to try and connect with your audience or try and help them, they have to find a place that they can connect with you. I have to let them know that I am them. Just right. because you see me now, um, you don't know what I've gone through, or, and I don't know what you've gone through, but I guarantee you I've gone through something just as you have. Everyone has a story, right. and this is my particular story. And I think it was incumbent upon me to go deep and tell the truth. So listeners can go, okay, well, she, maybe she does know what she's talking about. She's been there, done that. So, yeah. 
And it was a, it was a hard thing, you know, to be in an abusive relationship. I mean, there's nothing fun about that. But you have to get to a place, if you do survive it, that um, you move on from there. Right. Yeah, I mean, and we can move on from there. I have. Unfortunately, all of us don't, but we definitely can, you know. Okay. Then you talk about taking risks and doing something outside of your comfort zone. Uh -huh. So what would you say has been the most recent thing that you've done outside of your comfort zone? Um, okay, well I'll tell you about this while I'm thinking about what was the most recent thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you would think that doing TV and all this kind of stuff is within my comfort zone, right. but it was a little nerve-wracking for me. Um, uh, it was just, it made me nervous. I mean, I was cool, I handled it and everything. I know how to channel my nervous mm -hmm. energy and all that. But that was, you know, outside. Writing this book. Really? Yeah, definitely. I never had any plans of writing a book. That was outside of my comfort zone. I was perfectly cool with just doing the strawberry letter on the radio for mm -hmm. as long as that lasted. Mm -hmm. I never thought to put the words in a book, so that was out of my comfort zone. And then to do it from beginning to end and see it come to fruition and mm -hmm. all of that, certainly out of my comfort zone, but fun. And uh, I'd love to do it again. The process wasn't that grueling mm -hmm. <laughs> as I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. And just one last question yes, for you. Of all the um, pieces of advice that you have in the book, what would you say is the most important? Oh wow, that's a good question. The most important piece of advice? Well, I think the, when I talk about forgiveness, like I just mentioned, it's so important to us in life um, in order for us to move on. You know, a lot of people are stuck, in, um, especially single women. Right. They do desperate things and things like that. You've got to start to love yourself really love yourself try and be comfortable in your own skin mm -hmm. that that's a, not an easy thing to do if you haven't already always been that way right. but you gotta just start loving yourself it's you're okay don't be so hard on yourself mm -hmm. forgive move on okay. All right. love your life All right. Miss Shirley <laughs> Strawberry is there anything else you'd like to add God bless you thank you for buying the book thank you for listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show and thank you Veronica for having oh, thank me thank you so much. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. I love your earrings. Thank you. <laughs>